Okay, so I'm thinking about building a house. Um, I'm going to hire an architect and the architect will design a blueprint for the house. The blueprint will look something like this. Ta-da! Okay, that's the blueprint that my architect created. Once I have that blueprint, I will then hire some engineers to then make a house based on that blueprint. To construct a house based on this blueprint. So, here they go. Okay. Pardon my art skills, but I think you get it. That's a paper, that's the blueprint, and this is the actual house that the, the engineers made. Not bad, right? Now what's interesting though, is that once I have the blueprint, I can give it to you and you can give it to your engineers to also make a house, right? In other words, if I've already hired an architect and I have a blueprint, and I built my house based on that blueprint, I can just give my blueprint to you and you can give it to your engineers and the engineers can make a house just like mine for you, right? So we can make another house based on this blueprint. I can make another one. I can make as many houses as I want based on the blueprint. Because remember, what is a blueprint? It's a description of what a house should be, what a house should have, what behaviors it should have, right? What structure it should have. All of that is defined in the blueprint. Once you have the blueprint, you can create, you can construct houses based on the blueprint. With me? Okay. Now, remember this word construct, okay? Whenever we build a house, think of it as constructing a house. Okay, that's the first part. Second part is suppose, now you say, you know what, Rube, I like, the, I like what your architect did. I like the house, but I want a chimney. You guys know what a chimney is? Okay. I wish I had a chimney. What can I do? So instead of just doing another blueprint, what you can do is this. Okay, what did I do here? Instead of copying that whole picture, what I've done is I've simply referenced that picture saying, just imagine that picture going there, and then I just drew a chimney. So in your head, you can imagine copying that, right? And then imagining the chimney at the top. Can you? Okay, so instead of me copying it, now why did he not copy it? Here's why. Because my friend really trusts me. And he knows that I might one day decide to change this blueprint and make it better. I might find mistakes in this blueprint. I just found a mistake. What's a problem with this house? It doesn't have a door. <laughs> Exactly. So later I go, ah, oh, you know what? I don't have a door. So I go and I add a door to my blueprint. Now, because this blueprint is referencing my blueprint, it automatically got the fix. This blueprint now has a door. You understand why? Because it's not a copy, it's a reference. Does that make sense? Okay. Then someone can say, you know what? I like, I don't want a chimney, but I want, I don't know, what's something else? Oh, a window in the attic. So someone else makes another blueprint. And puts a window roughly here. 
In church, Anna? Che, yes, original temp uh, mana blueprint nem pochel. Utens pochelem hamseran hamseran. But get out sick. Then someone else comes and says, you know what, I like having a window in the in the thing, but I also want, I don't know, a tree outside. Okay. So then Wait, not a tree. Hang on. How can I change this house? Ooh, um, let me. Ooh, I'll decorate the roof. Okay. Okay, there you go. Now, if you give this last blueprint to the engineers, they will construct a house that will look like this. First, it will look like that. Then we will add that, and then we will add that. Ah, no. Ah, duraka. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, udura. Okay. You didn't subclass the chimney, so you're not going to get the chimney. If you want the chimney, you have to. This reference, by the way, this thing is called a subclass, okay? And each one of these blueprints is called a class, okay? So you have a house class, you have a, a house with chimney class, so that's the house chim class, you have the house attic class, And you have the house attic decor. Okay. Okay. Does this make sense? Okay. Now let's do a different one. Let's design a car. And of course, as you can imagine, for any of these templates, you can create, you can construct many actual instances of houses. Yeah? So remember this terminology. You have classes. These are your templates. Okay? It's the thing that says the thing that you make needs to look like this. Okay? A class is your template. That part clear? You can then make instances of these templates. That, so these houses, with the actual houses, are the instances of that. So in this case, I have two instances of house and one instance of house attic decor. Does that make sense? No? Okay. Let's go again. Look. Up here, the first one, I have a template, a description of what a house needs to look like. Okay, it needs to have a roof, a window, and a door, and some walls, and whatever. That's what my understanding of a house. I can give that template, that description, to a constructor who will then create actual houses that look like that. Is that part clear? Okay, now, because other people might want a slightly different house, instead of redesigning the entire house and adding a chimney, what they can do is just refer to my template and just add a chimney. And then if you give this one to engineers, they will build you houses that look like that plus that. So they, it's an enhancement of the original. Does that part make sense? Okay, so if I were to do this, if the engineers made this, What we have here are three houses that were constructed using that template. Yes? Okay. 
<laughs> These are referred to as instances of that template. That's the template. These are the instances of that template. Okay, just remember that word. When you think of the actual house, think of it as the instance of the blueprint. Okay? Now, change blueprint and use class. So these are classes. Those are instances of the classes. Did that make sense? Yeah? Class means template. Instance means the actual thing that was made using the template. Okay? So these are instances of that class. Okay, question. What is the instance of this? This is the instance of which class? This one. Look. And what is the, which class is that an instance of? The last one. The last one. Make sense? If I want which the the house class, the chimney, the chimney is that one. Okay, then you can subclass that one, make another one. And then what do you want to add to it? Another window. Here, so Yeah? Now if I constructed this one, an instance of that class, I would get Yeah. Is that clear? Okay, let's go through one more example of a car. Because cars are okay. fun. So I need to design a car. What is the minimum amount of stuff that I have to design to have a car? Help me. Okay, wheels. Okay, cool. Doors. <laughs> Russian car. Ladaya. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I have that car. Now let's like, let's m make it kind of cooler. Let's put some rims on it. You know, the, the ones that spin? Those are fun. Okay. So, uh, and roughly here. Okay. okay, so now we have that car. Um, what else can we do to like, to hook it up? Spoiler, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, do you want, now question, do you want a car with a spoiler or do you want a car with these things and a spoiler? Both. Okay, then we subclass this. Actually, let's do this. So roughly here, we're going to have like a... Oh, it looks like a sign. Eh, whatever. Blown cake. Ah, oh, no. Come back. Okay. Um, okay. Yes. The way you draw it means I cannot have a car without the rims and the spoilers. You cannot have a car without the rims. Yes, the way this means you have to have that and that. If you wanted a car with just a spoiler, you would. Make sense? Okay, cool. One more. Oh, one question for you. Um, 
what a car, just like a house, is a thing, right? It's an object, right? It's an entity. It exists. So it's an object. It so happens that in Java, every class inherits or has subclasses object. So everything, even a car, actually actually subclasses from object. Okay? You with me? So every class has somewhere above in its subclass hierarchy an object. Cool. Okay, now one more example and then we'll start coding. Um, let's design a really cute puppy. Puppy? Yeah. Pu Panda. Panda. Fine. Panda. Okay. Okay, so um, first of all, so we could just create one template for a panda and put everything in that. So we could say, um, now instead of me just drawing a panda, I will instead specify attributes that a panda has. So what does a panda have? Eyes, good. Go on. Teeth. Hair. Uh-huh. Fur, hair. Uh huh? Okay, a brain. Color. Color. Arms. Legs. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, bye. Cuteness. That's like a scale of cuteness, a factor. Okay. Okay, good. So these are some attributes that a panda has. What are some behaviors that a panda has? Things that the panda does. Eat, sleep, eat, eat. Okay. <laughs> All right. Eat, sleep, and repeat. <laughs> Um, okay, just something, make sound. Does it, do they do like, ah, I don't know, what, what sound does, <laughs> huh? Bra. Bra. Fuck. Sorry. Bra. Okay. Um, okay, make sound. Okay, make sound. Oh, walks, it moves, right? It walks, it climbs, huh? Plays. What about color? Color is here. Um, in Chajan. Climbs. Okay, good. Listen, 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 listen. So what we've done here is define two different things. First, we've defined attributes of panda, right? Second, we've defined behavior of panda. So attributes are information, data, right? Pure information about the panda. How many eyes does it have? How many ears does it have? Whatever. This is information, right? Color is also information, right? You could store it as like a hex or RGBA, or you could store it as lots of different ways of storing color, right? Then we have behavior, things that it does. In programming, how do you specify behavior? In a function, yeah, you have code that runs, right? So here you have attributes, just information. And then you have like variables, for example, right? Could store information. And then you have functions that actually do behavior. Remember when we wrote a game, when we would put right, code would run to move the character right. If we would go left, code would run to move it left. Walking is behavior. Behavior implies code, code implies a function. So these are functions. These are attributes. 
One quick thing, in Java, methods and functions mean the same thing. Okay, so if you hear the word method, it just means function. Okay? All right. Um, cool. So now question. Suppose I now want to make a different animal. I want to draw a puppy. Oh, okay. So, um, you notice that a puppy has a lot of these attributes, right? So, what would make sense, maybe, is to have another class called, say, fuzzy cute animal, okay? The cute. Okay, and then put all the things that are in common into that one. So, what are things that both have in common? Tell me. They both have eyes. They both have ears. They both have teeth. They both have hair. They both have a brain, I think. They both have color. They both have arms. And legs and legs, body and head. Okay, something that makes a panda different from a puppy. Color. Huh? Color. Yeah, color, it, it's, the attribute is the same, right? It's just the value of the color is different. No, because a puppy can also have size. Ha, Che Che, you're talking about the value of, of the size. I'm, I'm saying just size as in general. No, they both make sound. Hmm. Maybe we make female puppies. No. Puppies don't have. Pandas don't have a tail. Okay, cool. All right, good, 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 fine. Is that true? Okay, all right. Okay, so now let's get rid of all of this. So this is panda, right? Panda. Okay. Okay, so now what we have is two classes. We have a fuzzy cute animal class, and we have a panda class. And the panda class subclasses from the fuzzy cute animal class. What that means is that all the attributes inside of the fuzzy cute animal class go into panda. So panda, remember this word, inherits, takes on all of the attributes of its parent class, of the class that is inheriting. That is the parent class of this class. Does that make sense? And the arrow should go like this or this? Well, this is the one that is inheriting from that, but you're right. If you imagine it as a tree, yeah, the, the, this is above that one. And now we're going to put another one here for puppy. Yeah? Okay, so we have a class called puppy. that inherits from Abba, this guy. Okay, now you said tail, right? So a puppy has an attribute called tail, which the panda does not. Make sense? A panda has a... Oh. No, no, it's actually does. No, but it's it making and getre is polar panda na di na hamala. Okay, all right. Let's just say okay, 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 okay. Let's just chromosomes. Okay, we can make two animals: one with a spine, with a, one with like a jellyfish and a puppy. Okay, I think you guys get this, right? Okay. And then similarly with behavior, both animals eat, so we could move eat to the superclass and have both of them inherit behavior, that behavior, eat. 
Okay, good. Now watch. Watch this. This might just say eat food, right? Eat. And then the the code that runs here just says like if you eat food, if you see food, eat it, right? But for a panda, it's only if you eat very specific food, right? Specifically bamboo, and I think they eat some grass or something. Okay, so only if you eat that, right? So what you can do is still keep this here, keep that there, and what's called overriding. It means even though you're subclassing from that, if you implement your own, it overrides the other one. So it picks the one you wrote instead of the one that you inherit. But you change it's like Right, so it's code. So you implement your function and there's a function you inherit, but your function gets chosen because yours is the closest. Okay, are you guys kind of imagining what I'm talking about? Okay, yes. Yeah. Um, so inheriting from lots of things is called multiple inheritance. Java does not support that except with interfaces and stuff, but that's a different thing. Okay. It's kind of how it's like, yeah? Okay, let's talk about it in code so you guys can see what I mean. One second. Okay. So now, if you understand this, watch this. I'm going to make a file here, new file, and I'm going to call it uh, fuzzy. Oh, you know what? I got one. Let's let's make people. Okay, let's make a person. That's the value of the person. Hang on. So I make a person.java. Remember, in there now, I have to do public class person, and the person has to match the file name, which is person.java. Remember this? Oh, hey, what's a class? You know what a class is now. I'm making a template for how to build people. <laughs> okay. Um, how to construct a person. Okay. Okay, so what are some attributes that a person should have? How about a name? Okay. Name. Okay. Now, remember, in Java, I have to say what name is. It's a string. Good. Um, so, let's do that. Cool. Uh, what else? Age. So, maybe that's an integer? Race. Okay. Uh, what's That would be a string. Race. Uh, race is too difficult to define. Whatever. Let's do something else. Heart. Huh? Heart. Heart. Sex. Size. Uh, gender. Yes. Bo uh, Boolean. Okay. Or gender can be. Look, you can be. Oh, you can be different genders actually. Okay. Height. And. Height. Okay. Whatever. This is. I think. I think enough. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's keep it simple. You get it. So we have different attributes. Let's make these public for now. I'll explain what public means later. Just for now, just say that it's there. Okay, so a person has these three. We also want behavior. What's a behavior that a person can do? That I can code. Cry. 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 Welcome to the CS department. Okay. Public void cry. System dot out dot print line. Uh, how do you make a crying? I don't. I don't know how people cry. Okay. How would you write how someone cries? Uh, like the oh, wait, wait, wait. Sad face. Sad face. Artung. 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 
Oh, mehr als eins? Okay, whatever, I'll deal with this. This just looks like they have a mole here. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay, okay. So listen. Um, now, now, let me create another class. And call it, what do we want to call it? Let's just call it, you know, example. Okay, what does this class have to be called? Okay, now we're going to put the main function to start our application. What is the syntax for making a main function? Public static void main. It takes an array of strings and does whatever it wants. Okay, now in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to make a variable that is going to hold inside of it an instance of a person. So person A. Okay, now we're going to construct an instance of that class. Remember, this is exactly the same as taking a blueprint and making the actual thing. So person is a class, right? It's a blueprint. I'm going to now make an actual person. <laughs> okay. Um, new person. Wait. Introduce room syntax error. Oh. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Good. So new means construct, make, create. Yeah? So we had the blueprints of a house, then we were making houses using that blueprint, right? New means make a house. Make the actual thing, construct the actual thing. So in this case, by doing new person, I've created a person. I want to make another person. What do I have to do? P2, new person. There. Let's call this P1. Now I have two people that I've made. I can make another person. There. I've just made three people. And this person with this is the So this calls the a thing called a okay, good question. Listen, listen. You see how after doing new, it looks like I'm making a function call? Right? In a class, in this class, there is a function that is created for us that you can also override with the same name as the class. It's called the constructor. It looks almost exactly like other functions, but it does not have a return. You see that? It does not have a return. This is the code that is run when you first create a person. It's where you put all the code to initialize information about the person, to set up the person. Okay? So for example, we can say, we can default all people to be uh, women, for example. So I want to change gender to uh, female. There. So now every time I make a person, by default, that person is going to be female. Let's try. So now if I come to my example, so every one of these people, if I do system.out.println p1.gender, for example, I should get female. Let's see. Female. Injured? Import with granel. Not if it's in the same directory. Okay, so you see, P1 has a gender of female. Let's go through this life cycle one more time. I make a variable into which to put the thing I'm going to create. Okay, so I say P1 is a variable that knows how to hold people. Any questions on that? Yes. Yes, here it is. This is the type. The class is the type. Yeah? Okay, so I'm saying P1 is going to hold instances of this template, of this class. Then I say new, which means make, create. And I call the constructor. 
which is this function that runs, and what does it do? It sets gender to female. Got it? Okay. And here we want P1.gender, it's not P1 is gender. P1 is an object. Oh, I should mention, now you might say, what does it actually make? It makes an object. So you use a, cl a class to construct an object. Remember, watch, remember how in JavaScript, in JavaScript we used to do things like const a is, you know, something like this, and then we would do a.gender is, you know, female. Right? Notice how I've made the object and then I've added gender, right? In Java, you can't do that. You have to say up front what you're going to add and the type of the thing you're going to add in the beginning. So you can't just make an empty object and then just throw stuff in there. You need a template that defines its structure. A person, look, I tell it at the beginning, it's going to have a gender, which is a string. It's going to have an age, which is an int. Which are keys for in, the object? The key, yeah, keys are these. These are all keys. That's a key too. This key references this function. Except in Java, these are called members of a class, and these are called, this is called the method of the class. Functions are methods, attributes are members. And here, gender is like a key, and then we uh, specify uh, that it's a female? Right, right. If I don't do this, it has no value, right? But if I do this, I'm now putting in female whenever a new person is actually created. So we need to put it after. Ah, you mean would this work? You're asking if I put this here, would that work? That works. That's okay. Because, yeah, it works. Because a template doesn't have order. It just tells you what it wants. It doesn't tell you an order. Yeah? Code image, funksa image. By its declaration image, got it. Height, what is the default value of int? Look. What about the name? Exactly, so let's try that. So let's print P1's name and let's print system.out.println p1.h. And let's run this. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so string is set to null, which is like the empty version. Remember we used to have undefined in JavaScript? In Java, this is null. Okay, it means empty, nothing. And zero, because that's the default value of an int. Baza, yes? Uh-huh, good question. So. So, the question is, how can we now change? Suppose we wanted to have P1 be called Boros as the name, right? You can do P1.name is Boros. And then you can do sys, oh, sorry. System.out.println P1.name. Yes, that's a castle. Okay. That's one thing you can do. Now, the, wait, wait. The other thing you can say is, look, every person I make is, I want them to have a name, right? It doesn't really make much sense to have a person without a name. So what you can do is actually pass Boros as a, an argument. Let's, let's call the P2 Pedros. And let's call this one Mardiros. <laughs> okay. It's giving me an error. Why? Because if we go here, notice person does not take an argument. So what do I have to do? Add an argument called name. What did I do wrong here? I have to say the type that I'm accepting. Okay, I took name. Now I have to assign... Okay. Does it make sense? Okay, now I have to assign this name to this name. Question, how do I, if, if I just write name now, that refers to this guy, right? The closest variable. How do I reference this one? No, that, this. 
This refers to the object. Look, this code is running inside of the person, right? You may, you're making a new person. It's running inside of them. So this refers to that person. Think of it this way. If you had, um, remember you have a template. From the template, you make an instance. You make an actual person. This refers to that actual person. But God said, sick. If you tell me, Rub, make a noise, or you, if you ask me, what is your name? I will say, my name, not your name, but my name is Ruben. My is this. It refers to yourself. It refers to this. So this dot name will have name. You can also do this. This dot gender is now female. In children. Okay, now, if yet if I just write name, what variable does that refer to? This one, right? Okay, but I want to now assign this to this one. How do I discriminate between the two variables? It's my local variable, right? Saran is bolorin. Yes, karogem hagem thisov. This nishan koma s, s maker. Global che. Funksia classy, classy mechi globali. Ha, yata tan sa sotsnum. Ha, ha. Classy member nei na hagum. All of these are members of this class. So when I say this, I mean. Um, but does this make sense? So this name is name. The other thing I could do is have this not be name, but n, which is a bad variable name. And then I can say name is n. That's okay, because now I don't have to discriminate between this one and this one. Then you're assigning it to itself. Right? If you do this, look. You're saying that this is going to be set to itself. Who's confused with what this means? Raise your hand. No, no one's confused with this? Everyone gets it? I don't believe you. Nike, Miropa. Okay, Nike. You have a, a blueprint for a house. You then make a house using that blueprint. When you're inside the house, you're inside this house. This refers to the house that you're inside of, right? Yes. Same thing here. Right now, we've made a new person. This means the person that you're inside of. So this dot name refers to the name of the person that you're in, that your code is running inside of. Barza? Okay. Good. It's always better to use this than to just write name. Because it's very explicit. You're saying this as in the member attribute, not any other. Can you write public class personal, like public string gender is female? You mean do this? Like uh, Joe? Like that? So, yes, this means you're initializing the variable to Joe. That means everyone will be initially Joe until you change it. So, okay, example. Let's make everyone by default be 20 years old. Okay, so now everyone, because we're not setting age anywhere, by default is female, 20 years old, and has the name whatever that was passed to the constructor. So, example. Uh, Person. <coughs> String name, Miropa, Miropa. Ah, I didn't save. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so uh, if I print p2.name, you guys are about to tell me what I'm going to see. .out.println p2.age. 
system.bem.out.println p2.gender. Okay, what am I going to see when I run this? Bedros 20 female. <laughs> yes. Inchi match pohing, Johnny. Ha ha. Now what you can do is let's have p2 p2 dot age be 16. Now if we run it, now it's 16. Ha, co initial gratza pohuma. Naik, look, I can change the name to something else. So here it was Bedros, right? Let's call it mm, Al. <laughs> okay. Jishta, so look what happened. Look, run this in your head. You call new and you call the constructor. The constructor does this dot name to Bedros, right? So now it's Bedros. Then later you do p2 dot name is Al. So you're changing the variable. That's <laughs> Yes. Wait, so say it again. Yeah, so no, because how would you, based on what would you decide that it's a, if you just do this equals 20, it's going to do that for every, it's a template, remember, it gets repeated for every one. So this is where you decide the differences, is when you use it, when you call it. You give it different names, so now they have different names. Yeah? Watch this. Suppose I want to initialize every person, not just their names, but also their age. I want every person to have a name and an age. Yeah, let's have Boros be 18, let's have Bedros be 17, and let's have Mardiros be 16. Okay, let's get rid of these. Why am I getting an error? Because this constructor only takes a name, right? Watch this. I'm going to blow your mind now. You're going to go, what? This is crazy. For um, mind to What does this mean? What do you think it means? It's, a, it's another template. It's another way of constructing. So I can either, look, if I go here, I could construct someone with just a name. If I just do this, it will call... This this one. Here, let's get rid of this one. It will only call this one. If I call this one, it will call this constructor. Menaktari. Okay, I need a different constructor. Whatever Menak. Steph? Muse file image. In China, masa. Ah, ster waki sense anem. Che as duasa inchi. Then funksa chka vora antunuma arachin argument integer. Tif. Okay, what you can do though, I think, is you can do this. Null means nothing, right? Empty. So what happens? In that case, this name will be null, so name will be set to null, null is set to null, and then age will be 17. So I'll have a person where the name is null and age is 17. Head better sing. Uh-huh. In children. 
Yes. Okay, is that part clear? Yes. Could you tell me why you're doing it in two separate files? Ooh, okay, good question. So why am I doing this in two separate files? So as you write more and more, so first of all, Java in, encourages that you write your classes in separate files. Now the question is why? Because the idea is you want to separate your code as much as possible. As you have more and more code, putting it all into one big file is going to make it very difficult to work with. So instead you encapsulate or you sort of package up your code into these separate pieces that you can then use whenever you want. Make sense? Okay. Yes. Good question. So in this case, gender is now not initialized, right? Gender is right here. If you just make a string, what is the value of gender? Null. The value is null, it's empty, right? Nowhere in here do I set gender, and nowhere here do I set gender. What that means is that if I run this, this part gives me a null. Where would I put it? Good. So a few places. I can either do p1.gender is female. I could do that. I could set everyone to be female initially by just doing... Now everyone initially at the beginning will have that. I could also do this. In the constructor, do this.gender is female, female. Um, but this would only initialize to female if this constructor got called, right? If this one gets called, it does not. So if I want it in both cases, I have to do this. Ask answer. Ask answer. Okay. Other questions? Nothing. Wait. Yes, but something has to be different. What do you think has to be different? The arguments. Yeah. <clears throat> Having functions with the same name, but that have different behavior depending on the arguments is called function overloading. You're overloading the behavior of a function with the same name, but the behavior changes depending on the inputs. Yeah? Cool. Other questions? Ha, you heard it. JavaScript uh, Other questions? Yes. Constructor. Constru construct to construct means to build, right? Constructor is the thing that builds your thing. It's your engineer that builds a house. Okay. And the instance is the instance is the actual person. It's the actual house you built. So in this case, you call the constructor with some initial arguments with new, and it builds you a person, and then you can put the person into a variable so that you can refer to them later. Later. You can yeah same thing. You can you can pass. An array, oh, let's do another one. Um, per person P4 is new person, an array of one, two, and three. Yeah, at the mouse. At the mouse. No, no, And then here, person, I can say public person, which takes an integer array of vowels. There you go. Now, Steph? Can we specify the length of the array? Can you specify the length? That's interesting text error, I'm honest. In, insert inch. Oh, Java M Tensa array. La vice on Sonic Miropa. And. Wait. Et masa jista, et os tert alisem fu, et jist. Ah, vse. Et os sat alisem ster, u inke ga ster veš numa et integer nero, hi masta inčuz mesara. This dot r is vals. 
բայց R պետք է լինի, ինենց որ ստեղ ստեղծում ես դա, public int R, սյո, պատասխանացի հարցին, սյո, ոկ, don't worry about that for those of you who are confused, let's get rid of this, moment, ոկ, գտ, so, I want to make sure you guys understood up until this point what we're doing. Uh, where did we connect those two uh, classes? Which, cl which two, Jenna? During the same ah, no. Nice. They're in the same folder, you see? Same, same directory. See, there's the source directory, and I have this guy here and this guy here, yes? If they're in the same directory, they can see each other. Եվ որ նույն պապկայի մեջ են չէ, իմպորտների հետ ես, այդ հետո կոսանք։ When it's in the same directory, you can see it, yeah? Okay, good, good, very good question. Other questions? Okay, help me create a constructor that takes a name, age, and gender and initializes the person object with those values. I'll say it again. Help me make a constructor that takes name, age, and gender and initializes those members in the person object. First, create, help me make a constructor. What's the name of the constructor? Same as the class name. Okay, good that takes as arguments name, age, and gender. Right, I have to say what name is. I have to say what age is. I have to say what gender is. Good. Now, initialize, to initialize something means to set the initial value, the starting value. So I want to use these to initialize or to set the values of my members. Cool. Easy peasy. So now if, watch this. Ooh, all of these lit up. Why? Name, age, and gender. Name. Age. Other. <laughs> okay. Fine. Okay. Okay. Let's call it mail. Fine. Okay. Now, if I do system that out p two name and age and gender, what will I get? Huh? <laughs> this stuff. Do you see how doing, look, inside of this, doing this dot name equals something is the same thing as doing here p, p1, uh, p1 dot name equals high. Or p2, how about that? What is this? This is the person, right? Name is the member of that person. Here, it, you're doing the same thing. This means the person. This person. But it, here you're inside the person, so you say this. Here you're outside of the person, so you refer to it using a variable. And it will print high or high? In chess goes. In chi. Easy. Oh, let's make it crack. Oh. Oh, but it's important to know that it's a cousin. Okay, now let's, let's call a function on P2. What function did we make? Cry. Okay, so let's make it cry. <laughs> okay, P2.cry. Does cry take any arguments? No. no. Does it return any arguments? No. no. It returns void, which is nothing. So, if we now make it cry, 
Yes, save. Okay. Yeah, okay, that. Got it? Now, watch this. Instead of just saying you, let's say the name, whoever the name is, is crying. Von Sanem. But you're inside the person already. How do you say, how do you refer to the person when you're in the person? Okay, all right, so we're right now. Es funciona chuchuna. Okay, es smarter. Heto is crying. Von Sanem. How do I say is crying? I'm trying to make a string that says this per blah is Bogos is crying. Science? What? I'm going to get both is crying. Space. Good. So now, if I go back here and I say, boom. Hi is crying. Okay, let's get rid of this. That. Okay, good. Bedros is crying. If we make, let's P, make P1 cry. Bogos is crying. Let's make P3 cry. Madiros is crying. Baza? Can you show the person that you have out here? This is the same as S. 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 Marta. S. Function Marta. Mecha. S. S. This name is crying. Okay, how do you say. Let's. Why we haven't specified that this crying is crying? Why we haven't spe so in Java you have a special syntax. Um, you don't have to look because we're not storing it into a variable. That's why, right? I could have also done done like five. I don't have to make an int. I just say five. If I want to put it into a variable, I say int a is five. Yeah. Okay. Question. I want to write a function, not cry, but um, print info. I want to print information about this person. So I want to say something like this, you know, Martiros is whatever years old. How do I say that? Is? Uh huh. Okay, so now we call this function from here. There we go. Matiros is 16 years old. Cool? Yes. Can you open the We wrote public person string in and here we wrote public void. Why is there a Askatsa. Naik. Listen. A constructor does not have a return. You don't return from a constructor. A constructor doesn't give you anything. It just sets up, it initializes the object that is made. It's a special function. Function. It's a hasarak fungsachi. It's a special function that is only that gets called when we do new person. It does not give you anything. It just does something inside. It sets things up. Barza. This is a regular function, and a regular function has to have inputs and outputs. And also notice that a regular that a constructor has a capital case, just like a class name, whereas regular functions have lowercase. In Chinese, Jana, me atel. Yeah, you can do that. It's not returning. System out of tabella, Jana, return chain. Okay, you guys know the difference between printing and returning, right? Printing just means write something. That's all it does. Returning means the function gives something back to you. Don't confuse the two. Okay, so, yeah. 
Here we are doing new image in JavaScript. Uh-huh. Oh no, JavaScript image is actually something else. JavaScript has what's known as prototypal inheritance. So you, functions can be used to construct objects. So any function, if you do new that function, it will make an object. Uh, it's, so it's, you're not using classes, but you have constructors. Jokes? Okay. Um, I'm going to use the same thing. Okay. Okay, let's write a function. Public void. No. Let's tell me, you tell me how to write a function that will return two times the age of this person. Public void. Public void. Twice age. And it takes no value. And it returns what? Inch. How small sake? May I ask again? This age inch. Times two. Okay. Why is this saying saying an error? Right, because this is an integer. An integer times two returns another integer. I can't. Re I'm returning something. It, this function is saying void. I have to say that it's returning an integer. Right? Now if I call, um, if I do system and I do p1 dot, what is it, print, no, uh, twice age, okay, I save that and I run, I get 36, because 18 times 2. Jokes? Are you? Okay. Um, hot search. Questions? Yes? I'll tell you that a little bit later. Because that's the, that's the part that people get a little bit confused about. I'll leave that. Okay, let me show you one more. Are you guys confident with this? Any questions so far? I want to make sure you got this before I show you one more kind of cool thing. You got it? Okay, watch this. Remember how these were public? Let's make them private. Oop, sorry. Okay. This code will continue to work, no problem. But, watch this. Name. In other words, by making it private, you're saying this member can only be referred to within this class. Im imagine we have a blueprint that made a house. You have, I don't know, money inside the house. Only people inside the house can access that money. People outside the house can't just go and like magically take money. You have to be in the house to get the money. Got it? So private means this member, this variable, can only be referred to or accessed inside of this class. Public means anyone can access it. Anyone outside of this class can just reach in and change it. Or, or read it. Whatever. But in the same term. In charge? Private and directory. 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 Private so, yes. Yeah, but then, so if you're making a new file, if you make it private, no one else can use that file. So it doesn't make any sense. Okay. Um, so you got these. Also, the constructors have to be public because other people are making your object, right? That makes sense. This you could make private. You could have a private function here. You could do pri private. Uh, void, say hi, which does system dot out dot print line hi. Uh huh. So say hi. Can I cannot call say hi from here? Wait, let me get rid of this. Yet has stayed on mp1 dot say hi. It will not work. Make sense? But inside of here, I can say. This dot say hi, no problem. 
That's okay. Jokes? Ha, he might print in phone, Garawek does its gun check, print in phone, ink and nail kits, nurse seats, it are called it. Garawa private name Zerta. Whatever ten ink and match now. Once I does its juju in our swim cage, ink and nurse seats, Kazutuma. Okay. I don't know how I came up with that. Okay. Um, Mota or Peshaskatsak? You, you kind of get this, guys? Yes? Good. All right, let's take a photo. <laughs>